name is Akile Haweka. I'm the Advocacy and Policy Officer uh, coordinating and managing the South African uh, Co Technologies Coalition. So our organization PATH uh, basically supports and hosts the Secretariat of the South African Health Technologies uh, Coalition. It's an advocacy coalition uh, that looks into promoting health R&D in South Africa. We are looking at how funding um, is um, uh, actually sustained and improved uh, for uh, improving health uh, research in South Africa. We're also looking at coordination, uh, the different organizations that are there working towards health R&D and seeing, making sure that uh, they are well coordinated. And yeah, basically just to promote health R&D in South Africa. I think the barriers, uh, South Africa has, uh, the government has uh, provided uh, policies and strategies to support health R&D, but unfortunately the actual implementation is still a challenge. So we are looking at how we can support the actual implementation and hold government accountable to ensure that all policies that have been put in place are actually um, implemented. Also coordination is still a problem. Uh, there are many government agencies that have been put in place, but the whole actual coordination is still also a challenge. And I think lastly, another challenge um, when it comes to health R&D is that some of these organizations have no access to the resources that have been put in place by government for them to use. So there's a need to um, create an enabling environment for health R&D. The government has put uh, all um, policies in place, so it's uh, organizations like ours, our coalition, to ensure that we follow up and there is accountability and there is coordination and there is actually a direction and guidance for those organizations that are involved in health R&D to actually find their footing and their way into accessing those resources and that enabling environment. I think it's basically enough because we're at 2% of uh, the health um, uh, budget, which is good, it meets the international standard, but we have a gap in that it is not properly coordinated and we can, we, there are gaps in terms of data. We are not sure where and what is allocated to the different types of diseases that are there, so we need that clear um, the coordination in terms of where the budget is going to uh, the 2%. The, the regulation is very important. Um, while it, we have the policies, as I've mentioned, in place, we do need uh, proper regulation. We have uh, SAPRA, the South African um, uh, uh, Regulatory Council, that is in place, but there is a need for more coordination with civil society, with all stakeholders, so that people are guided and they know exactly where to go, where to get resources, and how to go about. That will create an enabling environment. So, I think collective advocacy is very important because this is uh, helping us to move away from working in silos and one voice is not enough. We need a collective voice so that government can understand that this is just not an individual organization seeking after its own agenda, but it's a whole uh, need that is raised by different people. So our coalition is basically a coalition of four, about 20 different organizations that are all speaking in one voice, asking and uh, talking to government uh, to respond to help R&D uh, issues in the country.